And that may be part of the reason why Democrats also are starting to face some structural problems with various racial minorities, groups that they've been able to rely upon for electoral support in the past. Blacks, Latinos, Asian Americans, Pacific Islanders, groups that are starting slowly but surely to peel away from automatically supporting Democrats. One poll shows that Hispanic support for Democrats in congressional races has dropped by about 13 points since the 2016 and 2018 elections. Now, 13 points, that might not sound like much to you, but even if just a sliver of minority voters cast a ballot for Republicans or stay at home, that could be in these tight races enough to hand the Republicans a victory. They assume I'm Catholic and a Democrat because I'm brown skinned and, you know, I'm not a Catholic and I'm not a Democrat. But those headwinds, they seem to be a changing and getting a little stronger. And the politicos with whom I spoke today all agree, as of now, a modest red wave at the very least seems to be building. Best estimates put Republicans in, at picking up about 25 seats. They only need to win five to flip the House.